Hi guys, so thank you for clicking out this video and if you're new to this channel guys, please do click the subscribe button and notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. So ang topic na pag-uusapan natin ngayon guys is about equilibrium of particles in two-dimensional system. So mag-solve tayo ng problem guys, explain ko sa inyo kung paano ba mag-solve ng problems involving 2D systems. Okay, yung ating mga particles that are in two-dimensional system. So let's solve a sample problem. So, pag sinabi natin na guys na equilibrium of particles, ang ating body dito is at rest or they are statically equilibrium. So, what are the conditions for a statically equilibrium body? So, ito guys, the summation of forces along the x-axis should be equal to zero. So, dito mag-assume tayo ng direction that is to the right that is positive and summation of forces along the y-axis should be equal also to zero. So, assuming that upward forces are positive. So, downwards are negative. So, these are the conditions in order to tell that a body is in equilibrium. So, what does this tell us? So, it means that the forces acting on a body is balanced. So, wala tayong unbalanced force that may cause movement. So, if our summation of forces along each axis is not equal to zero, therefore, a body will move and it is not considered as a statically equilibrium or at rest. So, first problem natin guys, two cables are tied together at C and are loaded as shown. So, determine the tension in A, in cable AC and in B, in cable BC. So, mayroon tayong dalawang required here, the tension in AC and the tension in BC in order to support this uh, 1,600 kilograms of mass. Now, first step, of course, is to make a free body diagram. So, FBD ang gagawin natin. The forces act along point C here. So, this is at point C. Then, we have here the forces, tension. So, away from the point yung ating tensions because it carries this load 1,600. So, it lifts this 1,600 mass na object here. As you can see in the figure. So, this is tension. BC and this is you have here tension AC. So then our load, which is the 1600 kilogram of mass, the load caused by this mass is downward. Okay, as we can see in the figure. So this is a downward force. We have here the weight, the object, which is equal to mg then yung ating mass is 1600 kilograms and yung ating acceleration due to gravity constant yung gamitin natin that is 9.81 meters per second squared so ang weight natin is equal to 15696 newtons so the next step after drawing your free body diagram we should identify the forces that are acting along its axis so, kunin natin lahat ng components niya along the x and along the y axis. So, for tension BC here, ang component niya is somewhere here. Okay, so this is x component ng tension BC. Ito yung y component ng tension BC. Ito yung x component ng tension AC. As you can see here, along the negative x axis, the left. So, ang axis natin is... If you're going to the right, that is positive x. If you're going upward, that is positive y. Then here, yung ating y component ng tension AC is going upward. So that is positive. So we can find this components using your trigonometry. So if we have this angle here, we can find that angle using trigonometry. So this side here is also 960. So as you can see in the figure, so this is 960 mm. So, this is 400 mm, as you can see here in the figure. So, if this is your angle theta here, same as here in the figure natin sa free body diagram. So, this is your FBD. Okay, we can find that theta using the tangent function. So, tangent of theta equals, we have here opposite over adjacent. Okay, so that is opposite over adjacent. Yung ating opposite side is 960 mm. So, disregard na yung unit, makakansel lang naman siya. And we have here our adjacent side which is 400 uh, millimeters. So, theta 
equal. So we have here arctan. So this is 960 all over 400. So arctangent 960 over 400. So this is equal to 67.38 degrees. So this theta here is 67.38 degrees. Now we identify this angle here in order to find the component. So let's say that is uh, alpha here, angle alpha. So we draw a triangle here. Draw tayo ng triangle. So this side is uh, 1,100 mm and this side is 960 mm. So therefore, tangent alpha equals, we have here opposite over uh, adjacent. So we have here 960. Okay, so that is 960. All over, so you have here 1,000. 100. So, theta equals, so that is arctan of this 960 all over 1,100. So, angle alpha natin is arctan 960 over 1,100. So, drawing ulit natin yung free by diagram in a separate year. So, this x component of tension BC here is, from trigonometry guys, this is T sub BC. This is theta here. So, this is T sub BC cosine of theta. Then your y component here is so this is T sub BC sine of theta. Okay? Now here if this is alpha, angle alpha this is T sub AC cosine alpha since this is your adjacent side and your y component for T sub AC is T sub AC sine alpha. So, since this is your opposite side. So, kompleto na guys yung ating mga forces. So, let's just take the summation of f of x equals 0. So, along the x-axis, positive to the right. Then, summation of f of y equals 0. So, along the upward component that is positive also. So, analyze natin separately. Now, for the x-axis, meron tayong dalawang forces that are acting on the x-axis. As we can see in the figure, meron tayong dalawa. We have this here. Tension BC cosine theta that is directed to the positive axis. So, that is positive. So, T sub BC cosine theta. Along the other direction to the negative x-axis, meron pa tayong isang force which is T sub AC. So, directed siya to the left. So, that is negative. So, this is minus T sub AC cosine alpha. So, wala nang ibang forces along the x-axis aside from these two. So, this is equal to zero. So, ganun guys yung pagsam ng forces. So, you must analyze the free by diagram. Okay? Then, we take the summation of forces along the y-axis. So, meron tayong forces here, tatlo. Ito, itong side na to, T sub B si sine theta, T sub A si sine alpha, and yung downward, yung weight natin. Okay? So, along the y-axis, so this is along the x, this is along the y-axis, then we have here, T sub B si is upward, so that is positive. So, T sub B si sine of theta, plus T sub A si is also upward, that is positive. So, T sub A si sine alpha. So, our weight, guys, is downward so that is negative so minus w equals 0 so kompleto na guys yung ating condition to find t sub bc and t sub ac okay so as you can see here mayroon tayong dalawang unknown so t sub bc and t sub ac given tayo ng dalawang equation pwede natin siyang mahanap now i-plug in natin yung mga data so angles are here and yung weight natin is 15696 newtons now, let's just substitute this given data. So, T sub BC, from here, from this equation 1, equation 2, we have here T sub BC cosine theta is, so cosine 67.38 degrees, so minus T sub AC, we have here cosine, alpha natin is 41.11 degrees equals 0. Then here we have, from the equation 2, we have here T sub BC sine 67.38 degrees plus T sub AC, you have here sine alpha. So, alpha natin is 41.11 degrees and minus yung weight natin that is downward negative 15696 newton. So, this is equal to 0.
Now, from equation 1, you can say the T sub BC. Okay, T sub BC equals, so transpose natin yung T sub AC. So, T sub AC, that is cosine 41.11 degrees divided by, you have here cosine 67.38 degrees. So, T sub BC equals 1.96 times T sub AC. Okay? So, you can see here, mas malaki pala yung T sub BC sa T sub AC. That is 1.96 times T sub AC. Then, we substitute this to our second equation. So, T sub BC is 1.96 T sub AC. You have here sine 67.38 degrees. So, plus T sub AC sine 41.11 degrees minus so this is 15696 newtons equals to 0. So, this is 1.8. T sub AC plus, so for this we have, so this is 0 0.6575 T sub AC minus 15696 Newton. So we can solve for T sub AC. Now here we can combine this like term. So 1.8 plus 0 0.6575. So this is, so 2.4575 T sub AC equals, so itranspose na natin yung 15696, so we, we have this as 15696 here, so positive na siya sa kabilang side, so T sub AC equals so 15696 newtons all over 2.4575 so tension AC is equal to, so this is equal to 6386 point ninety eight Newtons. Okay? Then we can find T sub BC using this condition here. So T sub BC equals 1.96 times T sub AC. So T sub BC is 1.96 times T sub AC. So 1.96 times 6386.98 Newtons. So, tension BC is equal to, so this is equal to 12,518.48, so this is 48 Newton. So, this is our final answer, guys. So, let's analyze the problem again. So, it means that in order for this system to become in equilibrium, ibig sabihin, kaya niyang i-lift yung 1,600 kilograms without breaking, hindi mapuputol yung mga wires, and statically equilibrium lang yung ating object here. So, in order to do that, tension AC. So, the rope here or wire AC here should support or should exert a load of 6,386.98 newtons. As well as, tension of the rope BC should exert or should have a force of 12,518.48 Newtons. If that's so, yun ang conditions natin so that they can support this body and this body will stay in equilibrium. Okay? So that is how you solve for the forces in order to make a body in equilibrium. So the concept, the key concepts are, let's repeat, that is the summation of forces along the x-axis should be equal to zero and the summation of the forces along the y-axis should be equal to zero. And it's a matter of drawing your free body diagram. Kasi doon mo guys ibabase yung ating computation. If the forces ba are positive or the forces ba are negative. So you just add the forces along each component. Then you can find those missing components in order to make the body in equilibrium. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope na meron kayong natutunan concept in analyzing forces in two-dimensional system or force equilibrium of particles in a two-dimensional system. So ang next natin na i-discuss guys in my next videos are analysis of forces in a three-dimensional system. So yung forces in space naman. So step by step lang guys yung ating lecture in static. So hopefully matapos natin lahat ng topics and see you guys on my next video. So before I end this, shout out muna sa mga uh, taga Bicol University College of Engineering, uh, University of Cebu, and uh, Batangas State University. So hi guys sa uh, 
College of Engineering dyan. And uh, shout out sa inyong lahat. Thank you for subscribing on this channel. Kung hindi ka pa subscribe, just click lang ng subscribe button natin and notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. Thank you guys and see you on my next video.